So today I will talk about sperms. You, right? <laughs> so there are many interesting things about sperm. Uh, so let me tell you, I'm not going to talk about the messy sperm semen thing. Rather, I will talk about spermatozoas, which are the sperm cells. Now, uh, I'm very sure that you would have definitely seen a cartoon of sperm cells. They have a fancy head and a funny tail. <laughs> so, uh, but I'm not sure whether you would have thought why the sperms look like this. So if not, let me tell you. Because they are swimmers, <laughs> they swim. <laughs> so um, when, if a sperm has to go and fertilize to egg, it has to travel a distance which is equal to 4,000 times its body length, and it takes 45 minutes to do so. Imagine if you and I, we, are, uh, we want to travel that same distance, it will be around six or seven kilometers. Will we be able to cover that in 45 minutes while swimming? Uh, I don't think so. So I think uh, uh, I'm pretty clear that the sperms are very good swimmers. So the next question is that, how do they swim? So they flip their tail, which causes a wave, which makes them move forward. So now, um, during this journey, it interacts with the surrounding media, and this media plays a very important role in order to make them reach to the eggs. Now suppose, uh, uh, there is one more very interesting fact about sperms, that it has got charge all over its body. And as it is swimming, it interacts with the surrounding, and the charge on the body changes. Suppose here it was positive, it can become negative, or it remain positive, we don't know, we are not sure about that. So wh what is interesting is that to know at a particular time what charge is present at a particular point. So f we do this by a very easy method. We take particles. One is positive, one is negative. So now suppose if the sperm has a negative charge here, the positive particle will come, stick to it. And the same will do these particles and then you can just click a picture of it. But yeah, sperms are not this big, actually. They are very small, so you will have to use a microscope. And then by looking at the picture, you can tell, okay, this region has, is positive, this is negative. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you.